This is my first Art of the Root candle. And this is the Manifestation Water. and Affirmation. Shh, that's my baby. Go to sleep, Bukari. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> this is my Manifestation and Affirmation candle. I, although it's already prepared with crystals and herbs and oils, I still always like to add my own little things on top of there. So um, I added pumpkin spice. Um, I added um, Abricamino herbs, rose opener herbs. Um, what else did I add? Um, I added uh, domination herbs. Um, I also added um, some Art of the Root oils, which I'm sure it already came with it, but um, I added some Fame and Fortune, uh, like a few drops of Fame and Fortune oil, um, a few drops of the Wealthy Way, a few drops of the Af um, Psychic Intuition, and a few drops of the Success Oil I have called 45 Essences of Luck. And a few drops of baby. I just made sure I only put two drops in each. I also put snake oil and scorpion oil in there. Um, I've already written my petition at the bottom. Probably can't see it right now. Yeah, there we go. I have my um, petition and... I anointed my petition uh, with the same oils that I put in the candle. And I've written down exactly what I wanted to manifest for, you know, for this year and beyond. Um, I put it in this glass here um, because I had read reviews about how the glass breaks. And then also on the sticker at the bottom of the candle, it did indicate that you're not supposed to burn it down from the rooter to the tuta. You're not supposed to just like burn it all the way down to the end. You're supposed to wait till it's like a little bit of wax left and then you take it out. Well, I have this mini vase here. It's like a mini little vase. I got this from the dollar store for a dollar, of course. And I filled it up with water, as you can see. So it's encapsulated in here. So if the glass tends to break, if it gets down to the bottom and the glass gets hot and it tends to break, then nothing will catch fire. So I burn all of my candles like that because I have had small fires. I had, I had two small fires. So ever since then, I'm like, and I wait for number three. Three is not the charm. You understand? So, yeah, this is how I burn this candle and it fits perfectly in there absolutely perfect and it's surrounded by water so nothing is going uh, to happen to it so I'm just going to let this burn all the way down as the days go by the water is going to keep going down 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 so you just have to make sure you fill it up full of water I did a lot of visualization and affirmation a lot of visualization I'm going to continue doing that um, I'll be listening to my uh, manifesting by neural beats and you know my meditation music and just continue focusing on the things that I want to bring in this year. Um, so, you know, only time will tell. And, you know, I will let you guys know um, how this candle worked out for me. Um, so that was pretty much all I wanted to share. I decided to, you know, <laughs> to work. I was just so excited. I was like, I can't wait. I need to just do it now. And Thursday's a wonderful day to do um a prosperity and abundance spells and money and money and business spells. This is a perfect time because this is Jupiter. This is Jupiter Day, Thursday. And Jupiter is um Jupiter is uh, is about abundance, right? And this year we have the uh Jupiter Jupiter and Capricorn this yeah. year, right? So this is only fitting to do um money work on Thursdays. The best days to do money Money work is Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Wait. So, with this being Jupiter and this being a Thursday, it's actually perfect that I did this. And I'm glad I didn't wait an extra day. I want to get as much Jupiter energy into this candle as much as possible. So, in closing, 
I will use one of my planetary blessings that I got from my book, Planetary Magic. And I will say, in the power of Jupiter, may thy liberality of spirit be ever as a libation poured out before the gods. You guys have a good night.